Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the Prosperous Swarm. So, a former client of mine, she's a health coach. She sells $75,000 coaching programs. And she said to me, look, I have three people who have paid in full, but they're not showing up. They're not committed to creating the results they've invested in. I don't know what to do. Why am I attracting people who can pay me the money, but don't want to do the work, don't want to show up, and don't want to be accountable for the results? Here's the thing that nobody talks about in the coaching industry, especially in the high ticket coaching industry. There's a huge distinction between high paying coaching clients and high end coaching clients. Not all high paying coaching clients are high end coaching clients, but all high end coaching clients are high paying coaching clients, okay? A lot of times, high pay for a high paying coaching client, you're just another shopping spree. That's all the investment is for them, okay? I'll give you an example. So when I started coaching, and I've been coaching for about six or seven months, and my program at the time was $15,000, and I attracted, through a referral, a woman who wanted to improve her spiritual life. She wanted a life coach, okay? She was a referral. And she came on the call, and I knew there was something about her that was not, she wasn't committed to doing the work. She wasn't committed to making a change, but she had money to spend, and she wanted to spend it somewhere, and I was the person who was supposed to receive the money that day. But I felt icky about it, so I said to her, what do you want? And she said, look, Mimi, my bracelet, my one bracelet costs more than this program, okay? And I have the money to spend. I just want to spend the money. Are you happy? I just want to pay you. And I said, no. We end up working together down the line in my health coaching program four years later, but she did not work with me in my life coaching program at the time. And this is why. Because when people show up with money, it doesn't make them a high-end coaching client. It doesn't mean that they're irrationally passionate about the thing they want. The difference between people that have all the money and people who are high-end is that a high-end coaching client is irrationally passionate about what she wants. She's fully committed to her greatest desire, her biggest commitment, her deepest challenge, and she would do anything to create it today. No excuses, zero, zero blame, 100% accountability, 100% responsibility, okay? And she wants to do the thing now. She may or may not have the money, but she's willing to be creative and resourceful and to get the money. I've invested over a million dollars in training, education, and skills. And I can tell you this, that all the times I made those investments, I had zero in my checking account. But I was creative and resourceful. Sometimes I borrowed the money, I took a loan, sometimes I borrowed from family, from friends, from whoever, and sometimes I was able to pay. But it was never because I had the cash. Think about it for a minute. When somebody's excited to just drop $100,000 on the table with their MX card and say, oh yeah, just charge it, pause and ask the question. Is it something they do all the time? Are they just used to doing shopping sprees that they have the money to spend so they're just gonna pay you? Or do they really want this thing? So slow down to speed up. Back up a bit and see what's going on here. Is it just money? In the coaching industry, people think, oh, you know what, if she has money, she's high end. It doesn't mean anything, okay? Because I equate money to high pain. High pain is like money. And money is great, but honestly, it can buy you the biggest house, but it will never give you a home. It can buy you the best looking guy on Tinder, but it will never give you love. And it can buy you the best doctor, but it will never heal you. A high end coaching client, however, I equate to abundance, to freedom, to commitment, to full expression, to abundance, to health, to wealth, to love, to life. So that everybody goes into this business with that distinction, knowing that just because someone can pay me doesn't mean she's my client. There are a lot of people walking around who can throw around $250,000 to invest to work with me supernatural. It doesn't mean they're my clients. They have to be committed at the highest level. They have to know how my program can support them, and I have to know how it fits into their life, their health and their, their, health and their relationship. If not, I'm just a fraud. Okay? So let's not be frauds, let's not chase high paying coaching clients, let's attract and be found by high end coaching clients. Let me know how this lands for you and how you're going to apply this in your coaching business.